Hi, I'm Ed Pohl. I'm on the road with our Law Biz National Road Show. Succession planning. In my experience with lawyers as our baby boomers are aging, many lawyers are looking to succeed their practice, to transfer their practice over to the next generation. And here are some steps I think that are important for you to consider. First, understand what you want to do with the second season of your life. My dad retired from business. He didn't want to. We sold our business and he had nothing left to do. He had no hobbies. He had nowhere else to go. He had not thought about the next phase of his life. And as a consequence, over the next six months or so, I literally saw the color of his skin change. Six months down the road, the company that bought our operation ran into some difficulties and asked him to come back to be the general manager of what was now a larger organization. Within days, the skin color changed again and he became vibrant because this is what he wanted to do. In other words, don't be without a home. Understand where it is you're gonna spend your time, what you wanna do with the second season of your life. A couple of attorneys that I represented a number of years ago wanted to sell their law practice. They were in the estate planning and trust administration uh, area of practice. What they wanted to do was sell the estate planning part and keep the trust administration part because all they had to do was stay in their office and wait for the phone to ring. They didn't have to do any more marketing. They had so many uh, clients, uh, trusts, and wills over the years in their vault that their families would just call them when the need arose. But under the laws of the state, they had to transfer the entire practice, not just a part of it. Those were the rules at the time. Their wives said, do not come home. In other words, after 50 years of practicing, we don't want you home now 24 hours a day. We're accustomed to you being in the office for at least part of the day. Net result was they did not sell their practice because they did not think about their future, their second season of life. In terms of succession, if you want to do it internally, groom a replacement and with that replacement create a buy-sell agreement. And as part of that buy-sell agreement, fund the agreement with life insurance. Then begin to transfer ownership of your practice. Begin before you walk away from your practice, the next chapter of your life. Get accustomed to it while you're still practicing. So you get a feel for whether that's really what you want to do and where you want to go. Learn more about Law Biz Management and how we can help you better manage the business of law at our website, www.lawbiz.com. And be sure to follow our roadshow on Facebook and Twitter 